All right, are we rolling? Are we rolling? Rolling? I'm trying to, I'm trying to adjust the situation here. There we go. What a peace! How's it going? Up, Happy Saturday! Happy yeah. Vlogmas! Happy first breakfast live in the white kitchen? Yeah, in the white kitchen. Look at that! And look at the what is going on, Jarvis? Oh, somebody's having waffles too. Awesome. Shout out to you, Renee. Hey, Christy. Hey, Jazz. Let's see what we got here. What is going on? Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, good morning, y'all. How are y'all doing? We're good. Elijah. Good late morning. Man. Early. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've done this, and I think I forgot all of the prep work that needed to happen. To get everything set up. You say oh, hi. Right here now. You want to say hello to the people? Okay. Look you how know, tall she is now. Now she's tall enough to be able to look over and see us. Uh, I know, right? Look at that. Hi. See if you want to come on over. Come on over, here, buddy. Hi. Hey. Hey. Y'all see this tooth right here? The tooth, front tooth is the, like I'm talking about, like this close to coming out. If I grabbed it and pulled hard enough, it would come out. It's, it's not my tooth, it's not coming out. No, your tooth is not you're, coming you're, out yeah, yet. Yeah, your girl. teeth are not loose yet. Yeah. That's right, Chad. That's mine. <laughs> Chad, you're not yours. Chad, you're not yours. Well, yeah, so I hope y'all are well. I know, right? So we're doing something simple today. Yes, yeah, like very a simple. Like super. There's super a sneaky simple. buddy up there somewhere. Oh, there is a sneaky. Sneaky body. Yeah, move Sneaky elf. Can you guys see? Y'all see the sneaky elf? The sneaky elf. The sneaky elf. That's right. He came back. back. Just up there chilling. Chilling. All right. Y'all ready for these waffles? That's right. Okay. Yum, I found yum, this yum. on recipe. On recipe. I found this on um, Pinterest last night. And it literally is just putting the waffle or putting the um. So it's just putting it in there. Just putting it just in one? there. Just one? No, many? you put. Four? So I think we'll put. Hold on. Okay, so here's the thing. You're gonna have to put over just a little bit. So I think you put like one on each quadrant oh, okay. of your waffle maker. <clears throat> you just stick it in there. Look at that. I don't remember if they sprayed though. You should probably spray. You should probably yeah. spray. So here's the funny thing. The kids were playing with this. And <laughs> the, the top popped off of it, and so they started seeping out. So we got three of them down here on the the yeah. you know, cutting board thing. So, All right, cool. So let's see if we have some questions because if you're new here and you've never been to one of our breakfast lives, this is kind of just a chance for us to hang out and talk to y'all, answer any questions you have, all of that good stuff. Um, thank you guys for being patient and waiting and waiting and waiting. I think our breakfast, our live breakfast, our last breakfast live was in like, I don't even know when the last one was. I got four of them on Like here. July? I think you gotta warm it up first, man. Like, who's gonna know? I'll do. <laughs> Wait. You gotta make waffles, Shawty. You can't just. Oh, it's supposed to beep at you when it's done, doesn't it? Yeah. And we're supposed to spray it before it warms up? Is that gonna burn out? I don't think so. No, if you put it on there hot, then it shouldn't. But it's warming up. It's getting hot. Daddy. I feel like you should wipe it down. Wipe wait, me down. But wait until wipe it's hot down. before you spray it. Babe, ready to make these waffles? Yes. Again. Like, I literally just plugged it in, y'all. I just plugged well, it in. Well, it needs to work faster. <laughs> so shout out to everybody that's here. Tabitha, shout out to Francine, Kimberly, Kimberly, Keisha, Two different times. 
Yeah, I feel like Ashanti was in the game. You do Ashanti versus like, who would you put Ashanti? Who would you put Ashanti against though? Cause she was kind of like in her own, in her own lane. Yeah, I'm trying to see. Like, cause she was coming, she was coming out of albums like her hype was in like 2003, four, five in that area. Yeah, I mean, I guess Keisha Cole would be the only person you would really just do Nelly versus versus uh, Ashanti. Since they exes now, just put them against each other. They're um, high at the same time. That's so interesting. Who do I have, though? Mm. I feel like Ashanti has some hits. But Keisha Cole has some hits, too. She though. does, though. So Keisha Cole got some hits. That's a tough one. Um, Roll Tide. Any LSU fans out there? Y'all ready for this? No, yeah. Ashanti was very much in her own lane. Somebody said, oh, exactly. Ashanti, Ashanti versus Little Mo. I feel like that was the same, like... Timeline, but it was also a different type of like little Mo. I wouldn't consider her like a singer, yeah. like Ashanti. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. I'm trying to think who else was like hot during when that's she what was I'm hot. Saying, I feel like Ashanti was the one. She was that's like, everybody's when, track. She that's was back when Ja Rule was hot. Yeah, like who was the other chick back then? I think it'd be fun just to, it'll never happen, but they should do Ja Rule versus 50 Cent. Just because <laughs> just it would be fun. Just to see them like argue the entire time. Hopefully they can squash their beef with some boy like Gucci and uh, Yeezy did. Yeah, you're right. I mean, hot for hits. Hits. Uh, Ashanti got the hits a lot, but when it comes to vocals, I definitely think Keisha Cole is a better vocalist than Ashanti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I do agree with that. Maybe Maya versus Ashanti. That could be good. That could have been good. That could have been good. Um, yeah, I think what vocal wise. Shout out from San Diego. It's 70 degrees. Shirts on. Uh, good no, morning. Oh, SWB and Escape. What you doing? Now that would be a good one. That would be great. Um, uh, okay. no. Let's see. Can you make oh, oh, that little Mo song is going to be in my head now? Hey. Can you sit over here? That is in my head right now, just because we were talking about Little Mo. Yeah. Um, somebody said, uh, Daddy. What? Oh, they said, they feel like they should have got a Kay Michelle and Keisha Cole. I'm not familiar enough with Kay Michelle to, like, what are her hits? Like, what? I couldn't tell you a popular Kay Michelle song. All right, we need to interrupt you for a second. Like, how long? Is this supposed to be that high at max? I don't, I mean, you put it on max. I don't know. I think just how long you make the waffles. Where's your phone? I can look it up on Pinterest because I can't look it up. Well, I might be able to tell. I think just how long you make the waffles. How long do y'all make waffles? I see I was not prepared. I What's wrong, Reagan? Reagan, what's the matter? What's wrong? You mad? Why are you mad? Because what? Because I put your shirt back on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she mad and daddy put her shirt back on. Uh, okay, I'm going to do the I feel like this old beep ass one's done. Uh, oh, somebody said they used to unroll the cinnamon rolls and shape them into trees, put green food coloring icing on them. Oh, that is such a good idea, Sarah. Hey, from Amsterdam. We should be playing Christmas songs. We would, I would love to play music for you guys, but the way YouTube's copyright is set up, if we want to monetize this video, then we cannot be playing no music. So maybe next time we'll get some royalty free music, Christmas music to play. Because I would love to have some Christmas music playing right now. What you want, baby? Um, 
she could. Like, if they want to see go, get Kiki White, go against somebody. But who would she go against, though? Like, who would you put Kiki against, honestly? Like, I don't even know. Mommy. Hmm? It's funny how you're just like. How I'm standing? Yeah. Yeah. It's funny how I'm standing. I'm like, prop up on my. I don't know. She got to see what she got to see what Okay. Let's see what else. Do we have any more questions? Shantae Moore against Kiki Wyatt. Mmm. I feel like that's two totally different eras. Also, like. Mmm. I don't think I will put Shantae against Kiki. Mm -mm. But I don't know who I will put her with. Selena. Hmm. Maybe. Um. Kiki and that lady from church that can blow but isn't famous. What lady from church? Oh, Kiki White and Kiara Sheard. Now that. That's a good one. Do it. Not the one. I mean, I don't even know how long that was, but I feel like it does. It's supposed to light them. The light is supposed to go off? Yeah, I mean, that's similar. I don't want them to. That's yeah, similar. I don't want them to. Yeah. What? So five minutes or when the light goes off, because the light should go off. So the, uh, the, the bottom. Oh, it's at the bottom. Okay. All right. So we got one or four. Yeah. That was quick. I don't even know how long that was. Try to find it. Hey, Kayla. Hey, Reagan's. Do you think you can turn that down? Or headphones. Or headphones, like brother. Well, if y'all hear her. Somebody well, I'll get you headphones, okay? Sorry. Kiki and Fantasia, okay. Thank you, Pamela. These are my new favorite Christmas PJs. I got these from Adore Me. Um, and I love them. Like, absolutely love them. I like the, like, I don't really like a whole lot of plaid. But I think this plaid is perfect because it's got, like, the black in it. I thought it was so cool. Well, thank you. Hello, host new here. Mrs. Leon Life, welcome. How are you? Uh, yes, mom. Shantae Moore and Tamia, that would be good. That would be really, really good. Gloria says she's having something with ground turkey. Maybe turkey burgers, baked french fries. Ooh, that sounds good. Waffle? Croissant cooked in a waffle maker with chocolate glaze. Ooh, maybe they need to do with this waffle maker. We've had quite a few things in the waffle maker. Remember that Christmas we had waffle hash browns? That mm -hmm. was really good. Yeah. I gotta figure out what I'm making for Christmas brunch this year. I think I might go back to the eggnog French toast. That's like the classic. Yes, thing. absolutely. I was gonna ask you. I actually saw another recipe. It was an eggnog French toast bake, which I think is what I did the last time, but it looked a little different. So I already spread it. Oh. <laughs> That's that information, Shiley. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, Kiki and Kelly Price. That's a good one. That's actually a really good one that I didn't even think about. I forgot about Kelly Price. That's vocals on vocals on vocals right there, okay? All the vocals. Oh, somebody said maybe Outcast and Tribe Talk Quest. That would be dope. Um, thank you. I'm so glad that you liked the uh, Vlogmas intro. It was very makeshift. We like literally pulled it together at the last moment. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it was so random. Even Oscar participated. We knew y'all was going to be happy about Oscar because y'all been on us about Oscar not being in our intro for a long time now. So we knew that, that here, can, can I have that one? You are so funny. <laughs> Am I the only one that's particular about Let's just the, throw the, the rest of them Let's just throw the rest of them away. I have like a specific mug that I want to use every morning. Well, then let's just throw the rest of them away. Uh, no, because they all <laughs> rotate. Everybody has a No, morning, when? Okay? When? When? Look, says the person who bought me my last two mugs. He's talking about right now, okay? Um, somebody said 
the verses are over, right? You think so? No, I didn't watch GZ and... I watched a couple highlights from it. Gucci? Gucci, yeah. I didn't watch it. I missed it. I would have watched it. Though. I saw a couple highlights. I was mad that I missed it. I keep moving my camera over. Um, but my favorite verses by far was Brandy and Monica. When I tell you I jammed for the entire time, they was cracking up laughing with me. She I legit funny. had the best time watching Brandy she versus Monica. It was funny. It was my favorite. Because we were in the hotel, right? We were in the hotel. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. She was getting it. Yeah. Yeah, see? Same. Kelly said the same thing. Some get more used than others, but you don't throw the mugs away. You got to have the rotation. Yes. Um, okay, let's see. What else? What else? Hey there, Boss Life Online. I'm looking for questions, so I want to make sure that I don't miss anybody's questions. Uh, yes, we, the elf finally decided to grace us with his presence. Yes. Chad Jr. has been asking about him. We have to let him know that, you know, he's on his own time. Well, you know, I, I so, reached out to the elf's agent. And, uh, <laughs> and we finally got him back. I told him that he was a little bit more creative with where we put the elf. And he said, anybody got time for that? So I'm going to have to do some research and see how we can spice it up a bit. Because we literally just put him different places. Like we don't do all the extra with the props and stuff like that. So maybe we'll oh, do that this year. You want some what? How do you ask? How do you ask? Ooh, I can see it How do you ask? Huh? How do you ask? But milk, please. Got broken. Indeed, it milk, got broken. Please. Uh, that'd be you. So here's my question. How many of these do you think you're going to eat? Like two each? Good question. Because I don't know, we might not need to make another. Yeah, I'm going to eat Reagan. Reagan will probably eat one. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to eat one. Yeah, I'm going to eat one. Do you have to warm this up or is it just. No. Put it on there when it's hot, I guess, huh? Yeah. I would like to drizzle. You can't put this in the microwave? Sure, sweetie. Can we put that in the microwave? No. Mm. Maybe for like five seconds. Five seconds. Here, put that on there. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me see. I'm missing the comments. Sorry, y'all. Any plans for New Year's Eve? Also, do you think you will be going on another lockdown in Indiana? NYC looks like we might. Um, we do not have any plans for New Year's Eve. Uh, we will probably just be sitting here looking at each other. Uh, we'll do the little countdown for the kids, and then Babe and I will try to make it to the to the adult Good countdown. Drizzle. Okay. Good drizzle. Good drizzle. Do y'all remember that uh, when Beyonce did the... Uh, I think her mom, Tina, was doing like a jokeathon or something. And it was a Snoop Dogg joke, and she was like, "Good drizzle, good drizzle, get it?" I don't remember the joke, but it was it was quite funny to me. Look at the drizzle, though. Oh, oh Jesus! It's coming out better than I thought it was. Look at that cinnamon roll waffles. Right. Quickest breakfast ever. Ever. Ta da! That's cool. Look at that. It looks good though. Can y'all see that? Yeah, I mean, it's cinnamon rolls. I mean, it's right. You can't go wrong with cinnamon rolls, but that's not enough. Like, I need more to eat. You know what? I can see. We got bar stools now, guys. I can actually sit down. The kids are eating apples. They just randomly wanted the apple. Are you guys ready for cinnamon roll waffles? Nan, one of them can hear us. They, they can't because they got their headphones on. <laughs> um, okay, so I was answering the question, and then I got... I got distracted. Um, how do I? I don't know how to get to you. Why? Why, YouTube? Why do I have to do all of this to to block somebody? Like, can we just can we just get them out of here? Exactly. Um, okay, so that was the end. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna go on a complete lockdown again, but I think. I don't know. What do you think? I, mean, I don't think that they're going to do it. Yeah, like completely locked down again. Yeah, I don't think that there'll be a complete. I mean, who knows? I mean, I, you know. 
Maddie, Reagan is almost three. She'll be three in January, and Siege will be eight in January. Somebody said, what kind of waffle maker do we have? I think it's a Huntington Beach. It is a Huntington Beach. I think we have tape over it because we used it for maybe like a brand campaign for a brand or, campaign, shooting so or something. So, so you have to put there. tape over the brand name. But it's a Huntington Beach. It's old. We've had it for like years. Are you ready to try it? Yeah. I Mm -hmm. I see. We don't have enough icing on ours. The drizzle was cute, but it didn't give it enough of the icing. No. <laughs> yeah, it's it needs more icing. There you go. Okay, what else? What else? We thought Siege and Ray were five years apart. They are five years apart. Like, shy of five days. Five days. They're like four years and 360 days apart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so she'll be three and he'll be eight. Um, do you go by age when counting macros? Oh, so like when I calculate macros for people, yes. It is all based on your BMR, which is your basal metabolic rate. And to get that number, you take a person's age, their height, and their weight. And that's how you get their BMR. So, yes, it does. Everybody's numbers vary depending on those factors. Nobody has the same numbers. Can you say hello to my mom and wish her a happy birthday? Happy birthday, Wendell! Your daughter is so sweet. She asked for us to say happy birthday to happy you. Birthday. So happy birthday. Happy birthday. We hope that you enjoy your day. Happy birthday! Lisa, happy birthday! Yeah. Yummy! This looks like the best waffle I would taste. Okay, let's see what else. Somebody said they donated about 30 bucks to the juvenile. Make. And they were gifts, but we too much for me. More often. Okay. We went through, y'all remember when we went through and we um, purged the mug? We gave away a lot of mugs. Somehow we've accumulated what? more. Not as much as we had at first, but we gave away a lot of them. Do you like them? You like them? Chad likes them. Chad likes the waffles. What's that on the side? Okay. This is a. What is that on the side? Okay. This is a. Look, great. Thank you. Um, do I ever think about putting my workouts on YouTube, like creating a fitness program and making a channel for that? Um, I have thought about it. I've had a lot of people ask me about it. I think that. I don't know. I have to have the time to do that, so it is something that I have thought about, um, but I don't know. I'll keep you posted. I will keep you posted. I have thought about a fitness membership because I'm creating workouts for my... I thought about just having a fitness membership if people want the fitness app and they just want to like weight training workout, then they can just get the membership. So if you guys are interested in that, I may possibly do that because I'm creating those workouts anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but I just having the time to film them and put them on YouTube, edit them and put them on YouTube. Like it took me so long to edit that video for the bands, the the workout that comes with the bands. That's that's time consuming. If I had an actual videographer or somebody who would do it for me and edit it for me, maybe. But never say never. I might. We'll see. <clears throat> With having many family and friends, how do you decide who to shop for during Christmas? You are a very beautiful and positive family. Thank you for sharing positive energy. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you. It's Lydia. I believe I'm saying that right. Uh, that's a really good question. I think that we have just gotten into the habit of only buying for certain people. Like, literally, our yeah. list is pretty short. It's pretty short, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's just one of those things where, you know, like, Everybody doesn't get a gift. Everybody, yeah, everybody doesn't, I mean, you know, everybody doesn't get a gift. Everybody doesn't, you know, expect a gift. And right. we talked about this on our podcast is that that we we squashed the expectation mentality of people thinking that we were going to buy them, them a gift. Like, people that, that, that know, like, they know we're going to give them a gift. Like, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and they kind of, you know, they kind of know that that's going to happen. That's like, you know, obviously like immediate family and stuff like that. But, yeah, we just... 
we don't, you know, we never set the tone. See, some people have, like, set the tone of, like, buying gifts for everybody and all that kind of stuff, which is nothing wrong with that, but we never set that tone. So, uh, we never made that, like, an expectation of, of people. Mm-hmm. So, when they get something, they're just excited about it. Yeah. So, which is the, the goal. You want to buy something for somebody and they're like, oh, I didn't know you were going to buy me anything. You know, like, you want them to be kind yeah. of, like, excited about it versus... This is all you got me? <laughs> I didn't eat that whole waffle, did I? Yes, girl. You no, I did that. not. All I had one pieces. little piece. I didn't have any of that. Where's the rest of it, though? Is this what you gave the kids? No, you had you it. Better shut up. <laughs> I just looked at this plate like, <laughs> I know I only picked up one. Smashed all four pieces. Triangle. Okay. Can, can I have some? Can I have some waffle? <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> can me and Oscar have some waffle? I can't say. Do you want a seat? Yeah, my please. Okay. okay. You trying to sit on my, oh, I thought you were trying to sit on my seat. You were trying to cover the waffle. Yeah, that's, 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 right. that's so, sit on my lap. Hey, hey, come sit on my lap. We're going to turn this into the Beyonce hour, okay? Is that a song? Is it it is. Yes, yeah. sit on my lap. Hey, hey, come sit on my lap. Oh, that's good. I'm at 84%, so we might be okay with that. Okay. <coughs> All right. <clears throat> Somebody, uh, Tracy says she's having Spanish food with a cup of coffee. What are you having this morning? Um, would I recommend the Always Pan? Okay, here's the thing about the Always Pan. It's very pretty. It's cute. As you can see, I have... Oh, you can't see because Bang is blocking it. But I have this pink one back here. And then I have a purple one over there. And then I have a green one. And I'm not buying anymore. No, I got caught up in how pretty they look. And... I have not used the steam, I have used the steam function once, and it was actually convenient, but you can also like boil noodles in it, I've not tried that. The um, lid's good for draining, when we had to make, when we didn't have our strainer, for, for Taco Tuesday when we made the food here. It's good, it's a good pan, is it worth $140? I don't, I don't know, honestly, I would never be like, yes, you need this $140 pan, because you don't. Like, literally, you probably have pots in your cabinet that do everything that it does. I think I just got caught up in how pretty they were, and I went a little overboard. Because I have never used all three of them at the same time. Why do I need three? Why? What did you do over nothing. there? I did nothing. <laughs> nothing. I don't know, okay? But it is a good pan. If you just want one, you're good with one. You literally don't need more than one. That's what I'm going to say about the always pan. I agree. Definitely don't need three. Um, you just, had to, you just had to throw that out there. Mommy Esquire, uh, do you help with diabetics and micro-counting? Yes, I have had diabetic clients before. There is a little <coughs> different protocol for that, but yes, micro-counting will work for anybody, regardless of, you know, whether you're a vegetarian or vegan or paleo or if you have diabetes or PCOS, like, it can work for everyone. Uh, I hope that I'm saying this right, Kosha Q. Um, your son is an Alabama fan. That's right. Hey. Roll, roll tie, little man. Dang, Lisa, you right. We should have added chicken. We should have had chicken and waffles, shall we? Next time. Next, Next time. time. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. Um, okay. Somebody said almond waffles. You can save them for tomorrow. <laughs> uh, okay. Somebody said, I would love to know where did you all get your pink workout outfit? I see it on my IG. Um, I got my pink workout outfit from... Is it the hot pink one? <clears throat> I, think. I think you're talking about the hot pink one that I've been on, uh, that I have a couple pictures in. That's from Fabletics. I get most of my workout <coughs> from Fabletics or Old Navy. Like, those are my, my two favorite places to buy sure. active wear. You good on coffee? Um, yeah, I'm good on coffee. Thank you. Um... Can we talk about how Ray needs her own channel or something? Her personality has just been shining through. What I tell you every day when I look at Reagan, I'm like, what are you going to do with this personality? Like, what is it that I need to be doing to help you cultivate this personality that you have and how to keep it? Like, just, you know, because I think as children. This hot personality we, she got. But, I mean, yes, but She's I think as children, we are our most authentic self. And then once we go through things and we grow up, 
things tend to dim our light or we tend to shy away from who we truly are because somebody said that they didn't like it or somebody said it was too, too much. So I like I have this it's like this constant thought like how do I make sure she stays just like this? As she continues to grow, you it. know. I love it. Um, but I do definitely think that she needs to be in front of somebody's camera. Like, I mean, she's in front of ours, but somebody else's. Like, yeah, I really yeah. do. I just love that she's like, she's just like, she's the opposite of Chad. Chad's always been like, you know, quiet, calm, cool demeanor. And she just, she's just like, I'm here. Hello, mm-hmm. see me. And I, I just love, I love that because it's like, you know, I want her to stay. <clears throat> you know, I want to do my best as well to help her to be a strong, proud, you know, mm-hmm. woman, you know, like, and just, that I can do anything, you know, like, just because I'm a woman doesn't mean I can't do what you're right. doing as a man, like, I want her to be, like, she has that personality, like, where she can do whatever, Yeah. and I love that, so I want to help, like, cultivate that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, a great family Christmas movie to watch is Jingle Jangle. You know what, my mom came over here for Taco Tuesday, and they started watching it. And then I don't know what but happened. We didn't, get, finish it. We we didn't, didn't get, get to watch it. We're going to watch it. So watch it. we'll yeah. actually... And the maybe Christmas we'll have Conquest a, 2 is on too. Maybe we'll have a Christmas, a family Christmas movie and watch... A Christmas movie night and watch that. Christmas Chronicles. Oh, you were telling me that with Kurt with Russell. With Kurt Russell, like the Christmas Chronicles, I think it came out like last year or the year before, yeah. so they got two. Yeah. Um, and he said it might be his last movie. Oh, really? Yeah, Kurt Russell said he might retire after that. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Monday, can I block somebody? I don't even see who this person is that you're seeing. Oh, I see him. Oh, let's see here. <clears throat> it's it's difficult that YouTube does not, it doesn't like give you options to just hit block. Like I got to report them and mm-hmm. then I got to choose the reason why I'm reporting them. I need to just be able to just block, block, block. <laughs> Uh, but we, somebody, uh, Pamela said maybe build a stage or a playroom with costumes for Rainy. She's so expressive. I had an area like that for my old preschool students. That's a good idea. I always get pictures of her yeah. from school. They do really good at like sending pictures, and she's always in a dress or a tutu or something like playing yes, dress up at school. Like she loves that stuff. Absolutely, she it's, loves it. It's cool. Um, let's see. Jules Jules, do you would you like to be the moderator? I'm gonna make you a moderator, Jules Jules. So that you can <laughs> remove some of these people that I don't see. Um who taught Reagan how to roll her eyes. I am still trying to figure it out, Linda. I have absolutely no idea where she got it from, but she did it on point. Okay? Uh Nana is watching but doesn't know how to use the chat. Hey Nana! <laughs> Nana. What up, Nana? Nana! <laughs> Shout out to Nana. That's hilarious. What's up, Ma- Nana? Mama. I think Mama's on here too, right? Yeah, shout out to Mama. Mama Mama's Nana. on here. Thank you, Jules Jules. <laughs> you asked. You probably didn't want the job, but you asked. So yeah, we appreciate like, y'all. We appreciate you. you. We, we try to keep this as a positive. Oh, bye, Janae. <clears throat> Have fun at work. See ya. Thanks for joining us. Um, we try to keep this a positive, uplifting place, and there's still some people in this world that are just. What is the modern name happy. of your couch? It looks comfortable. It is from Ashley Furniture, and it's the Keyman sectional, K-I-E man, or K-E-I man sectional. It's only because I've looked it up a lot of times trying to see if they offer it in a different color, because I love our couch, but I think we want something a little darker. Yeah, we want something that's like almost exact, like comfortability, size, yeah. everything. But we want one that's just a bit more, com- a bit more darker, a bit darker. Yeah. So that you know. Um, yeah, and maybe know. a little bit more on the gray tone. I think we want to kind of go yeah. for a gray couch. It's kind of. Over yeah, because if you think about it, over here is like a tan tone, but then the front room is mostly like a gray tone. Yeah. Except for the couch. Yeah. So I don't know, but it's out of stock right now because uh, I have looked it up so many times trying to see if they offer it in a different color. Oh, and it is comfy. It is comfy. But it is the most comfortable couch we have ever had. It will put you to sleep. So that's like our only apprehension about getting a new one. Like, is it going to be this comfortable or no? Because we can stick with it if it's not going to be this comfortable. Um, uh, Let's see. Who, what else? What other questions do we have, you guys? I'm so glad you guys are hanging out with us. I didn't think anybody was going to be interested because it's been so long since we've done a breakfast live. 
Um, ooh, bye, Lisa. Enjoy your Zoom yoga. Yeah, see ya. Um, somebody said, look at Mitra B's couch. Did she just get a new couch too? I think I, I think I saw that. <coughs> Um, somebody says they have a great couch from Ashley. It's microfiber and cleans easily. See, and that's why I want something that can clean easily. I can take the cushions off and wash them, but it, it piles a lot. Is that what it's called? You know when it piles? Is that, I think that's what it's called. You know, I use the thing to get rid of the fuzz. Piling, I think is what it's called. Mm -hmm. It does that a lot. So, I wanted something new. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, Our couch got the piles. Why don't we up, upholster it with a darker fabric? I don't know. I guess I never even thought about that. Okay. Upholstering it. I guess we could. Somebody said our volume is low. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to talk louder because, I mean, it's the iPhone speaker. Like, it's not uh, the microphone. Next week, we're going to try to get our... The whole setup. So, here's the thing. I bought all of this stuff to for us to live stream with our vlog camera. Yeah. Um, I bought the microphone. I bought the little thing you needed so we could live stream with this bad boy. But I can't find that stuff this morning. I couldn't find it, and I haven't had a chance to play around with it. So... Hopefully next week, because we're coming back next week, so the plan is for Saturday. Your Saturday vlog is going to be a breakfast live. So, we've got this week, we've got next week, and then that week right before Christmas, and then we probably <coughs> won't do a breakfast live the day after Christmas. Um, just because, no. yeah. Vlogmas will technically be over then, and we haven't decided if we're going to keep it going all December, or if we're just going to do every day until Christmas. So, which would you guys prefer? I'm sure that you guys would prefer all of December. I'm at one breakfast with Peeps, so the Peeps. Oh, yeah. Baby peeps. Vlogging. Nice having breakfast with y'all. I see that's what it looks like, so I'm having breakfast with them. Oh, yeah, because they're all over here, though. But they're over here. These are all the Peeps over here. That's right. Over here. That's right. Um. Yeah, so Kathy, I hope that answers your question. There is no vlog today vlog uh, for Vlogmas on Saturday. It's just going to be a breakfast live. But we'll be back with a new vlog tomorrow. Did you guys get the newsletter yesterday? Um, we sent out our first newsletter of 2020. I know, I know. But I got it out. Um, like I said, I was going to get one out this year. I got it out. Um, yeah. So hopefully you guys got the newsletter. If you're not, then you need to be on our email list. Our VA is killing it. Um, man, our VA is killing it. I like wrote it up, and she put it all together for me, got it sent out. I did have a couple typos, I think, in there, because uh, Yvette, she emailed back and was like, it said that you were in self-isolation for 10 weeks instead of 10 days. Oh, yeah. Oops. It was 10, um, 10 11 days. 10, 11 no, days. No, but but it went out. You know, none is better than perfect. Yeah, that's, right. that's my motto. None is better yeah. than perfect. So I'm glad that you guys see. Somebody got y'all. Somebody got y'all. Um, so thank you for that. In that, we did mention that we'll be doing 12 days of giveaways. Yes. So the peeps on the email list were the first ones to hear about it. But we will be doing 12 days of giveaways starting December 13th. And every single day, we're going to pick a peep to win up until Christmas? Or is it the 24th? One of the 13th. 12 days. So I think up until Christmas, because the 13th to yeah. 25 is 12 days, I think. We're struggling with that. So, yes, look out for that. What we've decided is we're going to give away cash because we could throw together some, some of our favorite things and give you things we like. Or we could just give you money and you can get what you need. Uh, only you know what you need at this season. So we're going to have 12 winners that's going to get a cash gift from us. And do you want to tell them the rules? Do we know the rules yet? I don't think we know the rules We'll confirm. We'll, we'll, confirm. we'll confirm and we'll come back. We'll um, confirm. But we will be packing. Or we'll be packing. We'll be, we will be picking... The majority of the winners from the YouTube comments. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Make sure you stay tuned. What's up, Beham, Alabama? Beham. Beham. How do you get on the email list? I don't know if I put it in this description box, but if you go to one of the description boxes, <laughs> I think that it's there. If not, I will put it on, um, I'll do a story about it on Instagram. Because I don't have the, I've been trying to look up stuff on my phone, but we're filming on our phone, so I can't really give it to you right now. 
H-Town? What up, Houston? What's going on, Houston? Kathy, you didn't get yours? It went out yesterday, so you may not be on the list. Um, <laughs> Rosalind, you're so funny. <laughs> she said, can you give, can you give away a macro mentality subscription to me? <laughs> so, macro mentality is coming back, you guys. The name has been changed. It is no longer macro mentality. It is Fix My Eats. That's right. And this, it's funny, like this, Fix My Eats is like personal to me because when I was younger, I used to. As in 28, 29. <laughs> And then like two, one or two, I would stay, I would be at Nana's house and when I was hungry, I would ask her to fix my eats. Like, fix my eats, fix my eats. So I thought that it was a cute, clever name that meant something to me. But also, when it comes to weight loss, literally people be like killing themselves in the gym, doing all of this yeah. weight training, doing all of this, not this, this cardio, habits. but they're not fixing what they put in their mouth. And that is the that is the bulk of weight loss. It's fixing your relationship with food, yeah. what you're eating, how much you're eating, you know, all of the things. Like I'm never gonna say you can't have this and you can't have that because I think I think that everything in moderation is great. Absolutely. But fixing just fixing your thoughts around what it is you're eating and all of the things. And yes, it is still macros. You will still learn about macros, but you'll also learn about how much your body actually needs. Like how yeah. much do you need to be eating? Are you under eating? Are you overeating? All of those things. So we're gonna fix your eats. Um, yes. It's just, it's personal to me, so I like that. Um, but it is formally known as macro mentality. So I may still refer to it as that because that's what people kind of know it for yeah. until Fix My Eats kind so of catches still, on. It's still, it's, but it's, it's the same concept. Yeah, it's the same concept, same mm -hmm. program. It'll be yeah. obviously, you know, she'll continue to improve it and make it even yeah. better. And <clears throat> ultimately, we know that, you know, when it comes to that whole process, um, that you know if we can shift your mindset mm -hmm. right if we can make your mindset yeah. um you know different when it comes to food and when it comes to even fitness in general you know you're, you're not going to be so focused in on you know four hours of cardio every day you'll be more focused on eating the right way yeah. in a way that you can still enjoy and then yeah. when you do that that's where the results not only external but internal results. Absolutely. Because your 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 whole body is just is is getting better. It's mm -hmm. getting healthier from the inside out. And that's that's what Gabriel's like passion is is yeah. in. And, and so yeah, fix yeah. my needs. It's fix pretty dope. We're excited about it. I was really hesitant to change the name because I'm like, macro mentality is so clever. It's stuck. People know it <clears> by that, but. Fix My Eats means something to me. Yeah, and it makes and sense. It makes sense. And like, you know, I even try to like break it down even more. Like, fix. If you look at fix, food is the X factor. That's what you're missing. With your journey of weight loss, it's your food. Yeah. Like, it's not your fitness. It's not all of that. It's the food. Yeah. So, we're going to fix all of that. Um, so, all that. be on the lookout. Next group starts in January, January 18th. So, um, I'll have it open for registration within the next like couple of weeks. So, if you're on my uh, Game Fix Fitness newsletter, you'll, or if you're on the wait list for it, you'll hear about it first. And then everybody else will have an opportunity to register. So, I'm excited about it. Absolutely. Um, we're going to a new year, new name. You know, you start off there, and then you can upgrade to the academy, which is one-on-one -on -one coaching, or you can do the membership after the group coaching. So there's going to be options for you that. Absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, it can, Sky. It can be for someone who doesn't want to lose weight. Are you interested in gaining weight, or are you just interested in maintaining your weight? Because I eat macros. Um, she gave me macros to gain weight for weightlifting. So... <laughs> um, yeah. And so I say I'm back to that ass day of Thanksgiving games. When I tell you that was so the much, funniest so funny. game day we have had in a long, long time. Shout out to Nana playing heads up. If y'all have not watched that on the Thanksgiving vlog, oh my God. funny one of the funniest things ever. One of the funniest things ever. <laughs> oh, so funny. Um, thank you, Donna. Thank you so much for following. Um, oh, thank you, Nicole. One of my clients is in here. She said the program is amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're doing okay. Um, you guys keep Nicole in your prayers. She recently lost her grandmother. So thank you for spending your morning with us. Absolutely. Thank you. Um,
do I think that the Gabriel wig will ever come back? It never left. It's here. Yeah. The Gabriel wig is still available at TonyDaily.com. That's T O N I D A L E Y.com. Right. I know that they were out of stock, I think, like a few weeks ago, but then they came back in stock. Yeah. And she saw a bunch of them. She had like a Black Friday sale. So it could be out of stock right now, but I'm sure they will come back. Like the easiest thing that you can do if you go to the like the product page and you put in your email or like you can even put in your phone number and it'll text you or email you it's when available. it's back in stock so yeah. that you'll know and you can go ahead and place the order. Yeah, so go it's, show Tony some yeah, love. Yeah, show Tony some love. Like y'all know I, I, this, I mean it's the Gabrielle wig. Like it is, it is my favorite thing. Okay, it is my favorite hair piece. Okay, so get yours. Yeah, look, be on the lookout for that Chad wig. It's coming soon. <laughs> coming soon. And I'm not going to say that this is it right here, but this is it right here. It looks like a hat. You would see, you're probably looking at it, but it's a hat. But it's actually the Chad wig. So, so it's sewn in right here. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I, have to pull out, I have to pull out the bobby pins to get it out, but it's good. Now you sound like Kim on stage. What? Kim on stage? That's my that, boy, man. With that uh, dread wig? Boy, I love Kim, man. That was the funniest thing. Uh oh. Oh, my goodness. I love Kim. The Chad wig. <laughs> okay, let me scroll up and make sure I didn't like miss no other questions. Sorry, I feel like we went on a tangent about macros. Um, what up, Mississippi? What's going on, Mississippi? Saw Montgomery. Uh, the Bronx. Philly. <clears throat> Welcome. <laughs> Jamaica. <laughs> oh, Jamaica. Uh, somebody says, just started a business. Do y'all recommend a certain bank for business banking? Um, bank of America is a great bank for your personal and your business banking. Um, so I would highly recommend them. Uh, first off, if you have a Bank of America in your area, they have a great rewards program, which is something like we have partnered up with them, but we've also been using the, we've been using it, and we've like moved over our savings and our checking from there, you know, we have the rewards, credit cards, and all of that stuff, so I've been really pleased with them, um, so that would be my recommendation, um. But any, I mean, any bank that's got that where you're able to have, you know, maybe your personal and your business, I would recommend keeping them at the same bank. So I would have like a separate business bank and then a separate personal bank. I would recommend having it all at the same, yeah, um, the same place. <clears throat> Somebody said, Kimberly said, we talking about weight loss and we, she over there eating pizza. We talking about weight loss and we over here eating cinnamon roll uh, waffles. But see, right. that's what the great thing about it's macros right. is. You can eat all that stuff. Is it yummy? Um, <clears throat> all right. So, let me see. I'm going, scrolling back up. Can you give advice for starting a YouTube channel? This is from Virgo's Corner. <clears throat> hey, girl, hey. Hello. So my biggest my biggest piece of advice for people who want to start a YouTube channel, for one, is to just do it. Like literally, use what you have to create content. If you don't have nothing but an iPhone or nothing but an Android, use that to film your videos. Like start off and make videos doing things you enjoy. Absolutely. Like do all the things that have you fun. enjoy. Have fun. Don't put with all this it. just crazy pressure on yourself. Exactly. Because then you'll yeah. start to like gain an audience and then you'll be able to kind of tailor what you put out based on what they respond to and what they like. But in the beginning, put it all out there. Do all the things. If you want to talk about hair, if you want to talk about relationships, if you want to talk about fitness, if you want to vlog, if you want to do makeup videos, put it all out there. And see what sticks, and then you can try to like niche it down if you want to. Uh, but you don't have to. Like, I think that's the good thing about YouTube is that there's a lane for everybody. Um, and and the reason why I say just do it with what you have is because a lot of people feel like, oh, I gotta have perfect camera, I gotta have you know the perfect lighting, and I gotta have this. And it's like, no, everybody has a starting point, and I think people really enjoy seeing the progression. Yeah. From, you know, starting to, oh, wow, look at how much you've grown or yeah. how much you've, you know, gotten better. That's a part of the journey that you can highlight mm -hmm. <coughs> is my allergies are going crazy. You know, like I was sneezing all last night. <coughs> I'm about to take one. Yeah. Um, but 
Yeah, it's like it's 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 that journey of seeing you start, you know, like just not knowing how to vlog, not knowing how to video. Daddy, it's Alex, not it's not set it up Alex, like the volume Alex, was bad, Alex, things that sort. Girl. And then you know all of a sudden then to because if you look at our old videos, our first videos to now, the you know it's, it's completely different. It's completely changed, and the quality is better. The sound is better. Things are yeah. things are better. The editing is better. Um, and it's just part of the journey. I mean, that's that's the the you know yeah. that's the coolest part of it. And people yeah. want to see that raw realness of, of you growing, and, and and hopefully that can inspire others to do you know do the same. Mm -hmm. so, so hopefully that helps. Just start. Don't overthink it. And now is a great time to start. It's vlogmas. It's okay that it's you know the fourth. What is it? The fourth? Fifth? I don't fifth. even know. The fifth. Start today. Pull out that camera. Start your channel. Why not? Like, yeah. um, could you talk about your hope for getting married before meeting each other? I am single now, but I wonder if you two were ever worried that you would find the right person. I think you're saying that you wouldn't find the right person. Will we ever worry? Um, yeah, I was. Yeah. I can say that I was because, you know, I, I went through a few relationships, one where I thought that that was it, so. and it wasn't, and I was kind of defeated and, you know, lonely and upset and frustrated because it felt like everybody else was finding their love and getting married and having okay, kids. I wanted okay. kids very young. So. Um, so, in hindsight now, so. I'm very grateful that I had them at the age that I had them because I don't know what I would have done with kids in my 20s, honestly. Yeah. Like, when I think about it, I wanted kids young because my mom had me young. Like, yeah. that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? Nana had her young, so it was like, I wanted kids young, too. I wanted that's to be you. a young, cool mom. And it was something that I had spent time praying about. Like, but I, in between those moments when you're praying, I still had to fight off those feelings of, you know, like, oh. I'm behind everybody else. I'm gonna or get a it's not gonna come for me, and, you know. So it's totally normal for you to feel that, but I think that. With, oh, I have a tissue. But I think that with prayer, I'll have it. Um, I'll have it. You got it. Okay. What you should be spending your time on is praying and asking God for exactly what you want, and in the meantime, working on yourself so that you're ready to receive it when He brings oh, it. No. Um, oh. Good job, Reagan. Good job, Mama. Thank you. What about you, babe? Yeah, I mean, I think for me, got it. Yeah, for me, um, yes. I mean, I you know coming from you know uh, same thing marriage you know marriage that was like you know just just wasn't you know happy it wasn't good coming from relationships that were you know like that just weren't really going anywhere you know like. Thank you, Tracy. Yeah, but like, you know, going, you know, you get those doubts, like, you know, like, man, like, you know, I, I, like, I want, I want, like, come here. Hey, Carl. I want something really, you know, something real, something, you know, meaningful, something deep, you know, and, 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 you know, what, what Gabriel and I have. And so you, you definitely get to the point where you're, you're doubting and, you know, and then, you know, you start dwelling on, like, you know, your, you know, your mistakes and, or, you know, your, your, you know, decisions that didn't get you any closer to that and you start thinking about well what can I do better and is it ever gonna happen and am I good enough? Am I the, you know and you know but yeah like Gabriel said you just pray and you you know you you move on from you know your past and you live in the present and then you you know you look towards the future. You pray for the future that you want. And oh, sorry. Reagan was blowing her nose in the camera. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> you probably heard that loud Sorry. and clear. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I think that fear is a normal thing, even for us, you know, for, for the folks that believe in God and believe that he, he can do all things, you know, that he'll do all things. But that doesn't mean that it consumes you and that it stops you from praying and speaking those things into existence, uh, the things that you want. You just have to continue to push and move forward and know that, you know, that you are enough and that it'll happen mm -hmm. when God wants it to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's very true. Shout out to you, Carl. This is the the guy that works at the airport that we see. We always see him at the airport. Oh, what's when we up? Call him at the Christmas hey, what's up, Carl? How you doing? We miss seeing you. We miss the airport. <coughs> oh yeah, we God. look forward to seeing you when everything you when know. When everything gets when, when everything you know. Man. God willing, when things are you know. 
Somebody asked, would again. we be willing to take the vaccine to travel again? Absolutely. I'm willing to travel without the vaccine. This is this is where I am, just being real. Like, I need a, I need a break. I just need a change of scenery. Like, Here's the thing. For me, be, being in the military, when I, when I deployed in 2000, in three and we're sitting in Kuwait prior to the war starting. Um, that's icing, sweetheart. And they said, "Hey, we got to give you the smallpox vaccination." We're in the middle middle of the desert, and like, you know, like I'm used to getting a ton of shots, a ton of vaccines, things that that I necessarily don't know what they are. Uh, whereas this one, we whereas we know what this one is. This one is you know meant to you know help make your body, you know, um, be able to fight coronavirus better. So, yeah, absolutely. I think that, look, these the, the scientists, the doctors, the people that have created this vaccine, this is what they do for a living. You know, it, it, this is what they do for a living. So, if you're going to trust anybody when it comes to a vaccine, I would sure as heck trust them over any politician or anybody else um, that doesn't know, a clue, have a clue about science or, you know, or things of that sort. So yeah, absolutely. We Shanta yeah. Jenkins, which you said you wish you could talk to someone. Wish you, you could talk to someone about what? Um, that's a good idea, Regina. She said we should get a mini influencer camera and let her start her own channel. Hey, I might let Reagan do something. I might let her take over Chad Jr.'s channel, or they can start making videos together. He has said he wanted to start making them again. Yeah. yeah. So, because he's in the. He's at the point where he's watching a lot of YouTubers now, so he has said that he wants to start. I want to, to do like a gaming channel. Oh, you want to do a gaming channel? Okay, that's the first time I've heard of that. He likes, but, he okay, likes he, he likes gaming. So, Reagan, ma'am, you cannot eat all of this, the icing. There's not much left in there. That's it. All gone. <laughs> Just looking all the icing. Um, okay, let's see. <laughs> Yvette says she has a problem with them rushing this vaccine. Um. Yeah, that's why, you know, with this vaccine, like, when the doctors, not the pharmaceutical companies, when the doctors say and the scientists say that it's it's safe to use um, and, and then they recommend it being used, that's when I feel like people, you know, should possibly listen to it. You know, the big businesses that are behind, <clears throat> behind creating this vaccine, um, you know, there can oftentimes be... Yeah, I think they have been trialing it. Did I they have. I said, did they trial it? Yes, they yes, have been that's, that's how they got to the 90, 90% plus, uh, you know, um, success rate. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it's one of those things where if you listen to the big companies, you got to understand there's two motives. There's money. What you need, Ray? And there's also, you know, the vaccine. So you have to um, take what that you need, girl? Salt. You got to go potty? You just potty by yourself? <laughs> she has been doing this thing where she'll go and she'll just go potty, which is great, but she still needs help wiping. So it's like, good job, girl, for pottying, but stay right there. <laughs> Let's come finish you off. Um, okay, let me scroll back to see if I missed anything. Yeah, I miss this uh, breakfast chat, the live. I feel like it's so much fun. Um, are we going? Oh, am I going to do a Christmas Christmas haul for gifts for the kids' Christmas? You know what? Yes, I plan to do that. I plan to to come back to the gate fix. I have not made a video on the gate fix in like three months, and I keep trying to figure out. I feel like I've run out of ideas. Like I don't have nothing to talk about. I was gonna do like a haul of the stuff that I bought on Black Friday, but I haven't gotten it yet. Then I still have that wash and go video from the last time I tried the lusters, the, you know, the whole popular wash and go. I did that back in like August and I never put it up. So I'm like, should I put that up? Should I just toss it and start over? But I do plan on coming back with at least two videos on the gay fix this month. If I can give y'all two, then I would be happy with that because it's been so long since I put anything over there. Then January, once Reagan hits three, we're going to come back with her update. Um, so yes, I will do a what I got my kids ooh, what I got my kids for Christmas. But can I tell y'all a secret? I have not done any Christmas shopping yet. Like, okay, I'm lying. 
I did get something for my mother, and I did give one gift for Siege. That is it. I have not gotten anybody else's Christmas gift yet. And Chad Jr., he has, we have the Amazon catalog, the Target catalog, and the Meyer catalog that he has marked up with all the things that he wants. So it's right there for me to do it. I just need to go online and order the stuff. I did buy one gift for him too, actually. So I've gotten three gifts for Christmas, and, and that's it. So I got some work to do. Uh, when we doing our Christmas shopping bag, I gotta just I look know. through and just start putting stuff in the Soon. Corner. Yeah, soon. Like, soon. we don't have a whole lot of time. <laughs> Are y'all done Christmas shopping? Like, I always want to be that person that's done Christmas shopping, like, by you Thanksgiving haven't yet. or by the 1st of December. You like, haven't yet. I haven't gotten to that point yet. Chad, you mind your business. You mind your business. You no, mind I your haven't business. started yet. You know, that's all right. I'll get what I can. He's like, listening. you haven't yet? a brand you know we have not done like business consultations in a really really long time and I think we stopped because we just didn't have the time um, but you can always feel free to email us um, Daphne and you know we may maybe at the top of the year think about like opening that back up because I do know that we we do have a lot to share when it comes to building businesses and all of that stuff, so um, you can definitely shoot us an email, but we don't have like a calendar open where you can schedule any calls or anything like that. Yeah, so. Um, <clears throat> India is showing mad side effects so far from the vaccine. Really? I did not know that. Um, where would I, where would you like to go on vacation? Honestly, I would love to be on somebody's beach. Somebody's beach. Yeah. Anybody's beach. <laughs> Indiana Beach. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, I would love to be on somebody's beach. I would love to go to Jamaica. Um, but that's not gonna happen anytime soon. I don't think that we would go there. Yeah, we don't know. I mean, it's just, it's just one of those things where you know, regardless of all the the wants to travel and stuff like that, it's not it's not a need. And, you know, so yeah. we'll, we'll we'll figure it out. You know, and we if we no, choose to no girl, we choose to travel, enough. then you know, then we then. We would have done our research and, and yeah. you know prepare ourselves the best we could. But as of right now, it's just not not priority. So we'll uh, we'll see. Yeah. Mexico is still open. They are still open, but I was just reading an article about how the CDC is not recommending Mexico because. They've recently had a spike in yeah. cases, and I think Mexico was the one place where you didn't need uh, like a negative test to like they let anybody in. 
Mm-hmm. I feel like so. I just was reading that the other day. Yeah. That CDC is not me- recommending travel to Mexico right now. Um. <clears throat> yeah, it's, we'll see. I mean, it's just it's a it's a weird time that we live in. Yeah. Um, Somebody said Hawaii is pretty low. Problem, I believe it. Problem with Hawaii though is that is that they're not you know um, they're not. I mean, they're letting people in, but like it's it's from what I hear, just from you know some of that we know that's there, it's not it's not as easy to get in and out um, because of COVID right now. So that they're you know why the reason the cases have been low is because they're not just letting everybody you know just come through and do the thing. So mm-hmm. so yeah, it's Priscilla, you was done in October. That's a whole nother level. Yeah, that's a whole nother level. A whole nother level. Beautiful Barbados. I said, I said we should Man, go to Barbados. He's, saying, he's like, let's go to Barbados. Let's go to Barbados. No, I heard the reason that I keep saying Barbados is because I heard that um, I read an article about Barbados opened up like a visa program for like entrepreneurs and or whoever you know, and you could get like a, a work visa during COVID and like because their cases were low and you know not not doing not going crazy or anything that they were letting people in and doing like a work visa. So there's people that working from Barbados for. You know, for for some months. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, so I keep messing with her, uh, saying Barbados. Frankie said so. You didn't give us a heads up about the live, and you missed fifty six minutes. I am so sorry. I gave a quick heads up on Instagram right. and on our Facebook page, but everybody has a heads up now that we'll be back next Saturday. But also, this same is, time. This will be on the channel. This is not yeah, going away. So you'll be able to go back and watch the beginning of it once we stop. But. We yeah, this is so. this is your vlogmas day five, okay? This is your vlog for the day. It's hanging out and talking to us. Um, <clears throat> oh, where did we get our PJs? The blue ones from, um, you said the blue ones? We got them from this company, um, Hannah, Hannah Anderson. Mm, that's right. Um, most comfortable PJs. They are so comfortable. Now, I'm going to warn you that they are not the most inexpensive pajamas. They were kind of expensive. But they're such good quality. Like when I got them and put them on, I was like, this is why they cost so much money. But Hannah Anderson is the name of it. And we got a blue, like snowflake. And then we got the Christmas tree ones that you yeah. see in the uh, the intro. The that is of our block. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> okay. Don't forget to thumbs up. Thanks, Mom, for reminding yes. the peace. Right. Make sure you subscribe. Do you not subscribe? Brianna, here? this is your first yeah, live. Subscribe, Welcome. please. Oh, yes. that, is, that, is, that is one caveat for the giveaway. You must be subscribed to Gay Bay TV. Yeah. So that is one rule that I can tell you, okay? Hit you must be subscribed like to us button. on this here channel. It'd be great if you were subscribed to us on Instagram also. Gay Flowers. See Greater Toil. See Life. Seeds Life and Regular Elizabeth Life. That's right. It's so funny. Um, all of that stuff. Let's see. I'm going to make sure that I'm missing no questions. Are we going to be writing a book? And we claim that it will be a bestseller. Okay. Let's write a book. We're going to, buddy. The Robertsons. You have asked where we got these PJs from forever. <laughs> you have put me in here a million times. That's so funny. Um, have we ever done the Ancestry DNA? We took the... What's the DNA test we took? You were an evil tribe, right? (laughs) (laughs) That's what your mama said. (laughs) Mom did say that I'm from the evil tribe. (laughs) Because I can't remember if it was West African that was in my DNA. I feel like it was West African. I can't remember. It's been so long ago. We took 23andMe, I think was the name of the one we took. Um, But I don't even remember my results. I have to like pull them up. Because I don't remember. But most of it was like African. There were some other things, but I don't even remember. Do you remember, Faye? I think you had... What did you have in yours? Yeah. He's not listening to me. He's helping check in or something. Oh, no. But... Uh, hang on. <laughs> no, yeah, you don't need that. All right, what's that? What's Do that you remember what was in your, um, your DNA? No. It was, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't remember. Bye, Lisa. Have a great weekend. See ya. Faith, do I realize how often I cut off Chad? 
Do you realize how often we cut each other off? I feel like I am not the only person that does that. Let me let me give you. So when we when we did our podcast with uh, with Kev and, and and Melissa, we actually talked about this. Um, how many times? I'm gonna give you an example. How many times you've been hanging around with your friends or your family and you're talking, y'all having fun, and you're talking over each other? Does anybody ever stop and get mad at each other because you're talking over? No, because you're just having fun. You're having a conversation. You're excited to talk to each other. This is what we do. We communicate. I'm not bothered by it. She's not bothered by it. So it's, it's, I think that it, you know, people can read into it so deep, like it's something more than just us having a healthy, fun conversation. Um, but just think about it. How many times have you had a conversation with your friends, your family, and you guys are all talking, having fun, laughing, and you're cutting each other off? It happens all the time. It's just mm-hmm. normal. Somebody said we should do more lives for Vlogmas to cut down on <coughs> editing time. We did say we were going to do vlogs like dinner, mm-hmm. like a dinner live. We haven't done that yet, so yeah. maybe an option. Never know. If maybe. you guys don't mind. Um, maybe, maybe. Maybe. We'll think about it. But I don't, and I didn't mean to be like, because I get this a lot. A lot of people are like, you cut him off, cut him off, cut him off. It's it's not something that I am, like, trying to do. I might. It may seem like I'm cutting him off a bunch of times, but it's not, like, it's not out of malice. I'm not trying to, like, keep him from talking I think, or, I think that, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I mean, did you just notice that he just cut me off while talking? Like, it, I feel like people notice it when you do it. It's always well, me. I think that, like, well, I, I, what I want to add to that is that, believe Please believe, I'm the type of person, if I feel like she cut me off and I need to get my point across, I'm like, sweetheart, can I finish? Let me finish. <laughs> like, that's the type of person I am. Like, so, we're just talking. Like, yeah. it's, just, it's, a, it's just a conversation. I think that, you know, sometimes people, um, yeah, just, just, you know, for whatever reason, get into a, you know. Yeah, I don't, I don't mean anything it. by yeah. it, I guess. It's, yeah, so I do, I may do it a lot. You're right, because people say it all the time. Exactly. My so, husband does that a, a lot, yeah. but I don't get by with that. Because you guys are just having a healthy conversation, mm-hmm. and you're excited to talk and add your feedback. Like, that's just, it's just life. It's good conversation. Yeah. That's just what it is. Yeah. Somebody said, hey, I'm trying to talk right here, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand you. <laughs> But I wouldn't do it on Game Bay TV. I would do it on the headset. It wouldn't come. It wouldn't be over here. Um, let's see. I notice women complain about women cut off men, but not the same when men cut off men. It is such a difference. Like we are trained to look at women differently than men, or we let men get away with certain things that we feel like women could it's such a double standard that I think we we do unconsciously like it's just this unconscious bias that we have like you expect a man to talk over a man or you know what I'm saying like but a woman you cannot do that you cannot talk over a man like you know what I'm saying I think that that's Memoria I think that that's what it stems from yeah. just our unconscious or subconscious not unconscious subconscious like bias maybe when you sleep too. Uh, <laughs> hey but like like let me give you another example so if 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 two women are having a conversation and they don't like each other, then when they cut each other off, right, that's a big deal, right? With two men, if they don't like each other and they cut each other off, that's a big deal. But when you like each other and you you have a good relationship, cutting each other off is not cutting each other off. It's just having a fun conversation mm-hmm. or having a deep conversation. I think so. It's all about how you, you, what type of relationship you have. If you don't like the person you're talking to and they cut you off, you're trying to make a point, you're going to be mad. Like, that's just life. But if you like the person, you're not going to look at it in that way. Like, you cutting me off. Like, you're just not going to. Two kids' life. You said, I missed your question. Can you say it again? What is your question? Um, somebody said, uh, do, I, did I, do I really use the dev spray? Yes. I love that dev spray. Like, it is so convenient. Try it out. Like, I prefer stick. Like, that's my preference when it comes to deodorant. But I have tried the spray, and it didn't bother me. I enjoyed it. So, definitely try it out. She was asking about the Dove deodorant. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's see. I feel like I've gotten all the questions. If I've missed them, please let me know. But I feel like we've gotten them all. I feel like we're coming 
to the end. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what time we started. What time did we start? How long have we been on here? It's been a good hour. It's been a good hour. <laughs> Man, just getting restless. He's over it, okay? Uh, he is getting over it. We should do a reaction video to our first Christmas vlog as a married couple. Oh, uh, is that where we put... Oh, no, the first Christmas vlog. Not where we decorated the tree. But I remember that. Where we decorated the tree at Savannah. Yeah. Um, those right. vlogs. Seems right. like just like forever ago. I know, right? It's Seems crazy. like a whole lifetime ago. It's crazy. When we lived in Savannah. 75 minutes? Oh, yeah, it's about time. It's about time to nope. do that. Um, Virgo's Corner. Yes, you may. That's more than an hour. It is more than an hour. Good job. Because 60 minutes is an hour. That's right, baby. Yes. So this is uh this coffee is uh, uh from Nicaragua. So it's a Starbucks blend, but it's a uh, Nicaraguan. Um, mm. It's really good. Somebody said, "What about the Dr. Teal's deodorant? Is it effective?" So yes, it is effective. But the thing about natural deodorants in general, most of them are not antiperspirants. So you have to be okay with still sweating. And I used the Dr. Teal's. I thought it was great. Like, I didn't smell. It did what it was supposed to do. Yeah, it did. But I didn't like, I'm a sweater. So I don't like sweat stains <laughs> under my shirt. Could you imagine wearing a sweater I'm while you're a sweater? Like, <laughs> you are so lame. <laughs> so that was the only thing. Like, every time I've tried a natural deodorant, I feel like I find myself going back yeah. because I don't like the feeling of sweating. Like, I don't want to be wet up under there. Like, I don't want to mess up my clothes because I'm wet up under there. I remember I wore Dr. Teal's when I was in the, the Circle City Classic contest or Circle City Classic parade stepping with uh, my sorority. And I remember having sweat stains yeah. because I didn't use an antiperspirant. I was so mad. Like, this is not the deck for me to use Dr. Teal's. So that's my thing. Like, if you're okay with, with sweating, go for it. Like, it was effective. I no. never stunk. No, she never Like, yeah, it, no. it was great, but I just. I, I need something that's going to block that. <clears throat> uh, Komodo Dragon, though, that's our favorite. But they don't always have it. They don't always have it available. Man, that's so when bad. they have it available, I grab two or three bags. It's bad. Yeah, Komodo Dragon is, <clears throat> is, the, is, the, is the best. Dragon. And then I would say that my, my favorite is probably Colombian. Hers is, 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 like, she's a dark roast. I'm more of a medium roast, mm -hmm. but that Komodo Dragon kind of meets us in the middle. It's perfect. Sorry, Lady Leo. We use Final Cut Pro for our editing. Yes. That is the software that we use. What brand is our coffee maker? So it is a brawn, brawn. and um, That's we, good. I we like love it. it. I still don't know how to use it. You know you showed me. But it's it's just, right. we, we wanted to have, because we drink sometimes, you know, a couple cups of coffee. Well, you have to end up using two pods per, so that's four pods a day if, you use, mm -hmm. if we both had two cups when, when we had our Keurig. So with this, it's nice. We can make a full pot. We've never had to make another pot. Like, we, we, we finished the pot, and that's been, that's been enough for us. Mm -hmm. um, and there's nothing like a fresh smell of, like, brewed coffee. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. when you brew it, like, it just fills, it, it fills the house with, like, some coffee smell. It's just, it's amazing. Yeah. So we like it. Uh, and, and you can make different sizes. You make a cup or you can make all the way to a full pot. So we like it. Yeah, I enjoy it. It's nice. Um, thank you, Mary Jackson. Uh, excuse me. Terry asked, how's the basement coming along? So they are finished. Oh they God. are done <clears throat> with the basement. And it looks so good. Super good. It looks so good, right? Good. We haven't showed y'all on the vlog yet. I was trying to wait until we had everything together. But maybe we'll just show them we'll today. See. Yeah. We'll take you down there because they still have to put up, they're going to come back and put up the workout stuff that we bought. So we bought the, the, what is it called? It's PRX Performance. So it's like, it, we got a pull-up bar that's going to go, and then we've got this, um, this folding squat rack. Yeah. But also a bench, rack. also a bench press rack. And then the, the, so it folds up against the wall, and then the bench folds up against the wall too. And then when you're ready to use them, they come out, okay. it comes out, and you can do bench press, you can do... So it's it's amazing. We wanted to have that that space where it could be in, so open and in, yeah. you know open, and um, it looks amazing. They it did such a good job. We got the treadmill in there now. Yeah, the lighting in there is crazy. The, we've got plug-ins everywhere. We can plug in about every device. You can bring your devices. We can plug them in. All the plug-ins. Plug so it's it's, it's, yeah. it's amazing. It so was, the last thing we need to get is a TV. We want to get a TV in the upper corner, right, like above the treadmill. Um, so if you're in there, you want to watch something, you can. 
Um, and then I ordered mirrors for the wall, but yeah. they were pre-ordered, so they won't be here until mid-December. So I was trying to wait to do like a big reveal once everything was put together, but we might do a little sneak we'll peek in today's yeah. vlog. But, that, he, show but he'll come back and install both, all three of those, the, the, the mirrors, the pull-up bar, and the workout stuff. Um, but um, he was yeah. supposed to possibly come yesterday and do the workout stuff, but, but he had another project he was finishing, so probably next week. Yeah, somebody said you should do a reveal video once it's completely set. Uh, wait until we completely finish it to do a big reveal. Um, the Robertson says, I just want to take the time to thank to the time to say thank you for never changing who you are. You guys have helped our family as far as our relationship wise for me and my husband and just growing together. Thank you. That's like the best compliment that you could ever give us. It means that's so much. What, that's thank what we you. want to do. Like we we truly we okay. truly you know, regardless of, of, of what's happening in the world, our we, we really believe that like our, our mission is spreading mm -hmm. love and you know positivity and just encouraging people because we need encouragement. So it's not always necessarily for us to give you encouragement. Sometimes by, by saying something or, or giving encouragement to you, we're giving the encouragement. We're mm -hmm. reminding ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's just what the world needs more of. Like and that so that's what we do regardless of who likes it or who doesn't. Me, is love, love, sweet love. It's the old too much. Um, okay, I think that we've gotten all the questions. Uh, what is the best computer for editing? A computer that works. Okay, <coughs> yeah. you just the 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 best thing for you to decide is whether you are a Mac Windows person, person an app, or a, a Mac person. Like, and then once you decide there, then you can go with Final Cut Pro for Mac. Or Premiere, or straight iMovie with, for Mac, or straight iMovie. If you don't, you can always start with iMovie. So with with, with iMovie, yeah, iMovie. That's a free program that comes with your Mac, and you. Is reconnecting? Let's know when we're back, y'all. We, we back? back? Yeah, it looks like it's back. It looks like it's back. <clears throat> like it's back. We back, y'all. Sorry about that. Sorry. Oh, any updates on the planner bag? Yes, planner has been ordered. It is in mass production right now. Thank you, Danny. And um, so it is is being produced right now, and um, I should hear soon <laughs> on when it's going to be, you know, heading my way. So when it's heading my way, um, then we will let you know. But yeah, it's, it's still I've got three different versions, um, well, three different col uh, uh, covers, collars, um, and then two different versions. Okay. Uh, a you know a a woman version, you know, a female version for you ladies, and then a male version, or or it could be a female, whoever, you know, whatever you like. If you like a more simplistic, like just to the point, or if you want something a little bit prettier, a little cuter, a you know, same, same, same layout, concept. same concept, yeah. but one is just a little bit cuter, and one is just basic, you know, and, and, and that's the one that I use. Mm -hmm. um, but I knew that that you know, ladies, ladies try to be cute. They want to be cute, yeah, right? Really want so it's good. We so, got a pretty pink one. Yeah. I'm so, excited for that one. So it's it, yeah. They're being yeah. made right now. Yeah. Oh, and booty bands. Shout out to everyone who purchased the bands. Yes, Somebody said they were waiting on theirs. <clears throat> that is my goal today. I got my first box. Uh, the shipment. I have like five other boxes that are coming. So the first box I have here. So my goal is to get everything in that box shipped yeah. this weekend. Well. Probably pack up this weekend and ship it out on Monday because I'm sure that ain't nothing getting shipped today. But the plan is to spend the weekend packing and, and packing up orders. So be on the lookout for that. They are coming soon, soon, soon. Absolutely. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your orders and your support. It was overwhelming. I really, really appreciate it. So I hope that you guys love them as much as I do. Yeah. Um, so, I'm proud. yeah. I'm proud of her. That's on the docket for the day. And with that, I think. Yes. We're done. We done. Um, we love y'all. Quit we scrolling. Love quit scrolling. My baby was like, quit scrolling. Put that me. finger away. I was just trying to see if I saw one more question. Okay, okay. We'll come back. We'll be back next week. That's we can do this again next week. We, we can't do. answer all the questions today. Next Saturday. Because then y'all won't have nothing to ask. Right. 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 Start a little note in your phone for the question you got. <laughs> yes. So funny. We have, uh -oh. Yes, yes. She will not leave this. I know. Okay, all right. Thank you guys for watching. We love y'all. We'll be back tomorrow. With another vlog. Okay. So see you later, peeps. See you later, peeps. I think you gotta go with the yeah. though. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great Saturday. See y'all. <laughs>
hit end. 